I have taken half a cup of wheat, whole wheat. To this, I am going to add water. And let this soak for 6 hours. Now after 6 hours, the wheat is well soaked now. I am going to wash it well now. Now this is washed well. I am going to take it in a cotton towel or a napkin like this. Going to bring all the corners together, make it like a pouch, and I'm going to hang it for sprouting. I have attached it to the vessel stand um, above the sink, and I'm going to keep applying water uh, whenever it becomes dry, maybe once or twice in a day, and wait for it to sprout. Now today is the third day. You can see that there are slight sprouts. I'm going to remove it from here. You can see that the Wheat has sprouted well. Sprouted wheat contains a lot of vitamin E. I am going to wash it well now once again. It is slightly sticky now to touch. So I am going to wash it well. I have washed it very well. Now sprouting to this stage is enough. We need not sprout it more than that. Then the taste uh, becomes a bit uh, fibrous. I am going to add the required salt and one green chilli. Now this green chilli is not very hot so I am adding one. You please adjust according to your spice level. I am going to grind this into a coarse paste. I have ground this into a coarse paste. I am going to take it in the mixing bowl. I have added half a cup of water to grind this. Now to this batter, I am adding a small piece of ginger, finely chopped. One tablespoon of freshly grated coconut. This is frozen coconut. Half an onion. A few curry leaves. And quarter teaspoon of jaggery. Mix everything well. Now the batter is mixed and ready. This should be the consistency of the batter. Add oil. And once the pan is hot, we can start making these crepes or adais. Now cook this in low heat so that it will turn crisp, drizzle oil around, oil or ghee anything you want you can use, even butter is good. Once a side is cooked we can flip to the other side.
these adais taste very good in fact you don't need any side dish at all for this if you want you can have a little curd that is enough this is a very healthy adai you can give it to the growing children it is rich in vitamin E very good for your skin vitamin E makes your skin glow and be supple and healthy so sprouted wheat is a good source of vitamin E which we can get naturally now let this cook this side too our wheat sprout sweet adai is ready to serve here I've kept jaggery, curd and a little butter all these three go very well with this adai 